Samia Africa, Cadbury and Everready East Africa are some of the manufacturers that have closed down operations in Kenya in recent years. Mili Glass Works Limited, a glass manufacturer, could be following suit if sentiments by the firm's senior officers are anything to go by. They say the company is rethinking its investment decision following the proliferation of cheap imports owing to porous borders and high production costs. So okay, we drop it down to 8%, we drop it down to 7%. In the competitive market, we even drop it down to 5%. But when we do the entire study and if we find that we are not going to make the profits in the first place, then the heads are up, the antennas are up. Then we have to seriously think in terms of whether we should invest into Kenya or not. The farm, which has been in operations in Kenya for the last 40 years and has over 2,000 employees, says the signing of the EAC and Commerce Agreement has opened up doors for cheap imports. With no support on the import duty. The import duty is 25% on uh, glass bottles, which has not arisen even by 1% in the last 40 years. So there is no protection on import duty. Main cost driver like fuel is just going up. The imports from the other countries are given all the facilities in terms of EAC, Comesa, and the new agreement that is likely to come through. Don't you think we will start thinking whether we should do business in Kenya or not? I'm not saying we're not going to do it. But my promoters are definitely going to think, I mean, is it really viable? He says the glass manufacturer had planned to invest 600 million shillings in expanding operations before July 2019. But the decision is now being reviewed. And we are seriously thinking because by July 2019, we have decided with the board to spend 600 million shillings into Mili Glass for the new project revamp the entire facilities. Now, 600 million shillings, is it worth it? The company is considering relocating operations to neighboring Ethiopia, and the reasons are... Out of, the, out of that, 50% of it is duty payable 25%. However, out of that 50%, the duty declared, or the value declared in every container, is 50% or 80% of the value. So people are basically not even paying the full 25% duty. This way we are losing out because the goods are cheaper into Kenya. Kiara is losing out. The government is losing out. He urged the government to take strong steps to protect and support the local industries.